So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get product data from suppliers such as Walmart uh, or marketplaces such as Amazon and how to get that product data into these Google Sheets. And I'm actually referring to these two sourcing sheets. One is the supplier to Amazon Matcher. The other is the Amazon Auto Sourcer. If you're currently using these, this video is going to be good for you. Or if you're considering uh, getting a copy of one of these systems and using them. So what prompted me uh, to make this video is that I had uh, uh, someone who got a copy of the system and then said that it does not work with Walmart. Uh, so the problem with that statement is that the system does not work with a certain supplier. What it does is it works with data. You have to go to the supplier, you get the data, and then you have to know how to successfully bring that data into the system. Now, um, I am going to explain these simple steps and demonstrate them as well. But the thing is, uh, on the subject of Walmart and actually any supplier, what we have to understand is that the CSV that you're going to get from the supplier can change from one search to the next depending on the supplier so with walmart in particular walmart keeps changing this part they keep changing it okay and that's not even a walmart csv so let me clear that but walmart keeps changing the csv so as the user you have to know which i'm going to show you how to do in this video how to check your csv and make sure that there's a map here matching it if there is not you're going to have to add another map or change the map that is here and I have demonstrated uh, this process in the full tutorial of the system uh, but I am going to go ahead and focus on this whole topic in this particular video so um, first step is to get product data from a supplier is you're going to use the instant data scraper Chrome extension and then download that to a CSV so what that means is you go to a supplier such as Walmart and you um, and since Walmart is the one has who has the change in CSV it's a good idea to start with Walmart and I'm gonna go to electronics and I'm not doing the full process here I'm only gonna be downloading data and uh, just trying to find something let's say okay home audio it doesn't even matter because I'm not gonna really search these products okay I'm just gonna pick anything it could be sound bars it could be anything and then I will go ahead and scrape this data with the instant data scraper. I'm going to take just one page in this case. I won't bother with anything else and download to a CSV. And that is the CSV Walmart. And if I wanted to, I could crawl. Uh, I could locate the next button and try to get more pages. And then I could crawl to get more pages. But I'm, in this case, I'm only taking one page. Once the CSV is downloaded, it's just a matter of going into the IDS CSV sheet tab and of the supplier Amazon Matcher using file import upload select a file from your device and the file should be on one of these uh, downloads for today Walmart this must be it I'm going to upload replace current sheet and import data so it's important to understand that we import this data into the CSV right for two reasons one is so that we can automatically um, import that data into the sheet right and another is so that we can see it right and that way we can uh, because we need to see it so we can set up the correct map before we import it right so basically um, if we look at the IDS columns map all right we're going to see that there's Walmart Walmart 2 and Walmart 3 at least on the copy uh, that I have right now and the thing is I have to check this okay so the main sheet has on it it has uh, the main things you need are the titles the URLs and the prices those are the only three things that are necessary some suppliers have a model number some have brands separate from titles but actually it's better if the brand is in the title all right, but the titles you need to have in order to do the auto matching, the URLs you need to have in order to open the products, and you need the prices in order to calculate profit and cost or cost and profit. So when we look at the ID CSV, those are the three things we're looking for. Now, these are the URLs. They're usually the first column, right? 
So the URLs are absolute href. So when I check the columns map, okay, so the URLs, the product links, are under absolute href. So when I check the columns map, I want to make sure that the columns map I'm using also says absolute href, right? Let's let's say let's look at this original. This was the first columns map I made, right? We see that absolute href matches. Now I'm going to go back to the IDS CSV and let's look for the titles. Okay, now these are the product titles. Look at this W underscore DD. Okay, so here's the issue. If you look at the IDS columns map, the titles are W underscore A5. So if I try to use this uh, map, it's not going to work. And actually, even the two new maps I created are different. So Walmart CSVs are constantly changing. That's what I'm starting to notice. So I don't even know if it makes sense to keep creating more and more maps or if they're just going to keep changing all the time. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and change this first one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to IDS CSV copy this and if you want to make a new one you can but I'm just gonna go ahead and just in fact in fact I will create a new one because just in case the first one um, there's another CSV where I can use the first one in the future let me go ahead and create a brand new one called Walmart 4 and I'll just open this up alright and the titles go under I just pasted what I just copied w underscore dd the urls are still the same absolute href i'll just copy that down and then prices in dollars right so absolute href the urls now the prices i need to see where the prices are being stored and depending on the supplier you might see different things going on here we have like these numbers and then we have now but then here we also see current price now right so what I will do in this case is I'll use this column. I think it's more complete. I'm just going to go ahead and use this column. Although I think the prices are actually the same. So it might not even matter. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Copy it. And go to columns map. And that is the column heading for the prices. Okay. And you can scroll this up by the way. All right. If you want to be closer up so you can see what you're doing. So now the columns map is prepared. We have a, column, a supplier map, Walmart 4, titles, URLs, and prices. So don't say that it doesn't work. All right, don't say that it doesn't work or doesn't get the data. If you haven't checked the map and try the map. If you don't check the map, that might be why you're not able to import the data. And anyway, if you cannot import the data, there is such a thing as copy and paste as well. That you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you though the import and then I'm going to show you the copy paste method as well Walmart 4 is the map that we just created and now I'm going to click on import instant data scraper CSV and that will bring the data in but once the titles do come in which we see they just came in and the URLs come in the prices will come in um, last normally because they do the most processing but once you've done that you can go ahead and start matching and I'm, this video is not about matching this video is just about getting product data into the system so let me show you uh, the other way that I get product data into the system right so I'm going to actually clear the product data now let's say for for some reason um, you just don't want to deal with the columns map um, you find it irritating you're tired of changing the columns map for Walmart uh, every two minutes you decide to just copy and paste the data you can do that too right which is why I say there's no such thing as it doesn't work with the supplier when all you have to do is scrape the data from the supplier bring it here and you can copy and paste it right so now for the URLs I'm going to copy the URLs just like this you can highlight down you can copy the URLs you go to supplier Amazon data you go to URLs right click I like to use pay special values to make sure I'm getting just the text and that's how you do it right now if it's a really long list um, sometimes instead of just using the mouse you can use control shift down arrow okay this is for the titles that and you can use that for any column and that will automatically go from top to bottom that's gonna be good if you have like a thousand products or 500 or whatever and you don't want to physically 
drag the mouse down you can use control shift down right so again you click on the first one control shift down and you just select all of these then you're going to copy these and go to supplier Amazon data and you're going to paste special values under titles okay and you get the titles that way however the prices are another story and I'm going to show you uh, with this particular situation with Walmart we have um, these words inside of our prices now you could copy and paste it as is and then take care of it over here but I'd rather take care of it right here so what I'm going to do is go ahead and control shift down and highlight now problem with control shift down is, is that if it has an empty space it's going to stop so it's better sometimes just to go ahead and drag it all the way and I'm going to do control F on the keyboard that's find control and F then I click the three dots it becomes find replace what I'm going to do is find current price current space price don't forget there's a space after the word price put another space and I'm going to find all of those and replace them with nothing I'm replacing them with nothing so I'm not gonna put anything here I'm just blanking those out I'm replacing them with nothing all right so I'm going to click replace all and it will replace the words current price okay and leave only the numbers behind but now I have the word now so it's the same thing type now one space replace all again and it will remove now uh, it will remove the words now click done and that's done now I can just copy this and I can paste it right over here right click paste special values okay so there's no reason to say that you're not able to get it uh, get data from a supplier when you can copy and paste it even if you can't import it you can copy and paste it right so do understand um, certain things in these Google Sheets are really here for convenience they're actually not even necessary if you know how to use uh, things like copy and paste if you know how to click uh, in a box and type certain things in you don't always need the buttons but the buttons are convenient and fast right and that's why I created them but when I first use these systems myself they were much more simple than this I was doing everything manually because I just didn't bother to create buttons for myself right the buttons are for you guys the users to make it easier for you but I didn't even have any buttons right I was literally typing in formulas and things like that okay, so that's basically it actually for this video all right uh, use instant data scraper Chrome extension download to CSV you import the CSV to the Google sheet you set up the columns map for the CSV if you can use import you then use import IDS CSV or if not you just use copy and paste so that is the process and if you have any further comments questions or suggestions you can leave them below or contact me directly I'm Mr. Mark and if you need to get a copy of the system go ahead check links to get a copy of these two systems and just remember what I showed you in this video and do see the full um, tutorial for this system and I don't have a full tutorial I don't believe as of the date of this video for this system is yet but I should have uh, one for this soon as well for the Amazon auto sourcer so anyway just check links to see what's going on and if anything I look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around on the channel